I mean, come in here if you want to. Um, walk in, limp out, fuck around to find out. That makes sense. And some so, days I'm like, what is happening? Good morning. Peace and blessings. Ooh, let, let me get the other one out. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Feel free to be yourself because I'm going to be me. It's your girl, Jenny, Black Butterfly. Okay, so I'm waking up super late because I was up in the middle of the night. My neighbor's dogs and chickens were doing something. I don't know. They were fighting. I don't know if something was back there messing with them or what, but um, around 4 o'clock, they were going off. So sleep is already challenging with me. And I have roosters and chickens and dogs. Oh my. Making it more challenging. But it's Gucci. Um, I needed to get up. He just stopped drilling. But um, I have someone putting up floodlights in the front and back of my house. Um, and uh, yeah, to help deter people from coming in the yard which is really aggravating and um unnerving you know if someone were to come in my house that definitely freaks me out but i mean come in here if you want to um walk in limp out fuck around to find out You see that, y'all? Oh, you see that, y'all? Do y'all see that? That's not bad. Jenny shoot better than all y'all right now. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. But, um,. So yeah, that's going on right now. I have eye appointments. So you guys get to go to Cincinnati Eye Institute with me where I'm going um, for the issue that I've been having with my eyes. Once I get dressed and get in the car, I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit more about what we're going to do today and hopefully what happens and what has happened and all that good stuff. So, um, see you in a minute. I'll be looking less crusty. Figure I show you my outfit. I never, like, when I'm home, I'm usually in leggings, baby, or my onesie, flannel pajamas this time of year because I'm all about the comfort. But I try not to go outside looking like I feel. I try to put my best face forward. So anyway, I got these cute pants from Shein. I don't know if you can see their wide leg. Um, yeah, that didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. Why? Their wide leg, leg though. Super cute. Um, of course, gotta have a fanny pack with the pump in it. This shirt I got so so long ago, but it's super cute with this tortoiseshell like detail dealio, and I got tortoiseshell earrings on. Also from Shein. Um, my shoes, which you can't see, are from Shein. And this handy dandy African rock to just pull all the colors together. I'm very Technicolor today. So, hey girl, hey girl. Hey girl, hey. Alright, let's get ready to go to the eye doctor. Woohoo! I'm rest. I'm testing out this new phone holder I got from Amazon because everything comes from Amazon, right? So, um, I am going to the eye doctor. Uh, 
this is an appointment that I'm looking forward to and sorely need because I've been having major eye difficulties. I'm trying to get my seat comfortable to a lot for my bun that's sitting up here. Anyway, so um, because of the fact that I've taken prednisone for a very long time for the inflammation for sarcoid, it has caused me to have a lot of problems. Prednisone is a blessing and a curse. Like, a lot of the treatments I feel like I'm on right now. Prednisone absolutely positively has helped me with the inflammation part of sarcoidosis. Um, and for anyone who's had like asthma or a whole host of other things, it is just pretty much the best thing for inflammation. It really just is. But being on it for a very long time is not good for any part of your body. It has very much damaged my teeth. Um, I have issues with my joints. Um, and my eyes. So, prednisone can cause you to have high pressure in your eyes, which basically is, is glaucoma, and it can cause you to lose your vision. And I do believe, well, I know, based off of what they showed me, that I have lost some of my peripheral vision in my right eye. Now, they were saying that it can possibly... Um, it can possibly get better and that with treatment like right now I'm just doing eye drops two different eye drops and one three times a day the other once a day and it, it will help to um, bring that pressure down one thing one thing that you know is really difficult is the fact that my eyes are always tired. I feel like I've been studying all night, every day, all the time. Like I've been up all night. I look like I smoked a thousand cigarettes and drunk a billion cups of coffee. Particularly first thing in the morning, like my eyes are usually bloodshot. And I'm guessing that's just from laying down and the fact that that makes the pressure in your head even higher, which makes the pressure in your eyes even higher. So I'm working with my pulmonologist to bring down the amount of, of prednisone that I take, going from 10 milligrams to 5 milligrams. You absolutely positively cannot just stop taking prednisone. Um, like an idiot, I let myself run out before because I thought I had an extra bottle. And I was out of it for two days and my body felt horrible, like I was almost in tears where I felt like just everything hurt. Every joint, my muscles, it was just, it was bad. So, hopefully when I go to my new surgery doctor, we'll discuss the alternative, which I know is methotrexate, which I had really kind of been reluctant to take because methotrexate can be really tough for a lot of people. I do have a couple of friends who took it before and they just did not do well on it. But, you know, at this point, I have kind of no choice, particularly since um, mama need to see. Yes, the vision is very important. So, you know, doing whatever I can to protect and preserve that is is key so i'm gonna check back in with you guys in a little bit because i need to gps to get there because i'm going the streetway I, I, I drive on the highway yes i do but right now while my eyes are like weird i don't like to be in situations where it's fast and I need people watch out for people coming up on the side of me and all that type of stuff so I'm just do to do to do on the side streets. Yeah, I um, think that she's 
some ointments after. Okay. I think it may also be useful to get like a thicker ointment or something to use at night. Okay. Um, so you can get them over the counter as well, same as the artificial tears. Um, is there a certain brand or? Any brand is fine. There's one called Genteel Severe or any of the ones that say nighttime or PM on them should be okay. fine. Those will be a thicker consistency. Okay. That'll help you out with the, with the oxygen kind of just drying your eyes out overnight. Okay. That's probably why you wake up blurry in the morning. Gotcha, okay. Um, but I'm pretty happy with your pressures today. Me too. That's a big improvement from where I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were 38 mm -hmm. and 25. Let's kind of see you back in about three months. We'll recheck your eye pressure. Okay. See if it's still kind of holding. So question, can, mm -hmm. is it possible that my prescription changed um, from when my pressure was higher to now or? Uh, it's possible that your prescription changed. It's probably not related to the eye pressure though. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I just got glasses. Like that's when they found really? out my pressure was that high. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes when the eye surface is kind of um, as dry as it is and you have a lot of ocular surface disease that does tend to impact the prescription quite a bit. Okay. And so what I would do, who prescribed your glasses? I just went to like Walmart, to the Walmart okay. eye center. What I would do is use artificial tears and that gel for like a month or so just to really tune up the surface. Okay. And then I would get che checked for glasses because when you, basically the front window of the eye or the cornea, that's basically like the second lens of the eye. So it has just as much focusing power as the actual lens of the eye. Okay. So if it's dry, it can make you pretty blurry. Okay. Um, and it kind of, that's what determines the prescription. It's kind of that front surface. So if you're, you know, a little bit dry one day, a little bit more dry, a little bit less dry the next day, okay. that changes the prescription like day to day, basically. Okay, that makes sense. Cause and some so, days I'm like, what is happening? Exactly. So, okay. Okay. Well. That ended up being a really, really good appointment. Um, take a second to catch my breath. Get situated. I didn't get on home. So I just realized I came outside without a backup pump. I got a cartridge, but not a pump. That's a problem. Trying to knock some of the crunchiness off. All right. Well, I can see. He, I like you can see. Don't hit the G right. Don't hit the Jeep, baby. Anyway, okay. So I am out of here. Make sure I don't run over anybody. I'm on my way up out. And we'll talk on the road. I'm just gonna go to this way because even though we not making sense. Easy as out. So anyway, good appointment. Um I don't know how much actually recorded what you could see or what you couldn't see because for real, I was sneak recording. Most places say no. So I don't even really ask anymore. The first time I was trying to document my journey, particularly when I was doing all this crazy testing. Like, man, and I have some of that footage, which I'll add one day for the people who really are doing this, who just wanna know what they have to look forward to. Some of that testing was, it was a lot. I know it was necessary, but some things are very uncomfortable. But at any rate, we out. My eye pressure is so much better. And a lot of the uncomfortability, uncomfortability, uncomfortableness, discomfort, Baby, I'm going to get my vocabulary together. Some of the discomfort that um, I experienced. Is that level? Let me try a level. 
some of the discomfort that I have experienced with my eyes, she was saying, is probably due to the fact that I am on oxygen and it does have a very drying effect, um, particularly, I guess, like overnight. Um, so she suggested a nighttime eye drop that is more, that's thicker and more lubricating and hopefully that will help my eyes feel more comfortable and the fact that some days I can't really focus sometimes we've talked about which has to do with your eye surface and your eye surface being dry and not in good condition which she said it looks way better than it did um, before which is very much comfort um, so yeah that's great I hope that wasn't just all in y'all face. I'm sorry if it was. Um, I'm new to this. I'm true to this. And I'm new to this. Because I'm trying to really um, just take you with me along the way. So that was that. I'm glad that's over. You know, I kind of know that with myself. I'm not eating anything. Because I, I had a weird night's sleep. Like I told y'all. So I didn't wake up until uh, my contractor was at the front door. Excuse me, I needed that. So I didn't have a chance to fix breakfast, lunch, anything. I really had to um, deal with him and then get myself dressed and out the door for this appointment. So on the way back home, I'm gonna stop somewhere. I haven't decided where yet. And give me something to eat. So all in all, that was a good appointment, which I'm very happy about. I should see what the bestie is doing. I heard the group chat was going and being in and bonging, but I haven't checked it out. But at any rate, I think it's a nice day. I think we're only gonna have two nice days this week where I can really be outside and chill being today and tomorrow Wednesday even though the temperature's gonna be good it's supposed to be storming so I definitely can't be out in the rain don't want to get sick so I am definitely gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat drive through get something excuse me because I don't feel like cooking and go sit out in the gazebo and take the laptop out there and maybe take a nap out in the fresh air like they do the little Swedish babies. I don't know if that was true. I was looking at somebody's TikTok where they showed some country and I think it might have been in Switzerland. I don't remember where it was, but they had all the babies sitting outside in their little buggies. Um, getting acclimated to the air and becoming little Nordic children. I don't know where it was, but at any rate, I'm going to go do the end. Except for it's in the 70s here. So, you know, for Ohio, the leaves are starting to change. We had a couple days that were cool. Like, the nights are definitely cold now. I pretty much um, turned off the air in the house. Now, what I always do have running is a fan because just having circulating air actually makes it easier for me to breathe. And then, of course, I always have the um, air purifiers going, which also kind of blows out some cool air and circulates some air as well. But for the most part, um, soon it'll be time to turn on the heat. I know that if I had the furnace on, it would have kicked on last night because it was like 40 something. And then, was it yesterday or two days ago, I got an alert on my phone, which was like any gardener's worst nightmare, two words, frost warning. So the temperatures did dip down, not a freeze warning. It hasn't gone down to 32, but uh, definitely a frost warning. So my tomatoes, they did pretty well. They made it through. I still have a lot of tomatoes on the vine. A lot of flowers. I think what we're going to do is 
um, when Taylor comes, have her cut the tomatoes back, prune them back, get rid of all the flowers, get rid of all the extra vegetation, give them some air in between there, and kind of help them get through the season, the rest of the season as healthy as possible. And there's a lot of tomatoes on the vine, which is crazy for this time of year. So even if they don't get ripe on the vine, there's a lot of tomatoes that are big enough right now to pick and like set in the window, even though the best tomatoes is behind ripened tomatoes growing out your own garden, baby. Nothing tastes like it. It's, it's so true. I love um, Jess from Roots and Refuge. She says that uh, grocery store tomatoes taste like disappointment. Now, honey, if that's not the truth, if you eat tomatoes in your garden all summer and then eat a grocery store tomato when the seasons change, oh honey, you almost want to cry so I'm going to enjoy all I can for as long as I can so I will see you guys when I get back to the hizzy I am going to find something to eat oh shit I'm just speeding past the popo let me smell my happy ass down anyway I'll see y'all in a minute I keep alluding to the gazebola but I've never shown you so here is how it came about there was nothing in this backyard but hella, hella weeds. It's starting to come together. This rain is a mug. It got us started early this morning but they went ahead and put the framework up even in the rain. They put the silage tarp underneath and I think they're just waiting for it to slow down before they uh, jump back up there. Yeah, it's coming together. Wait until it's some mosquito netting and romantic curtains and some ferns and some lights on this mug. Mm-hmm. Yes. So here's where I give all the credit to the bestie. Um, I very much had the vision for what I wanted this space to look like, but um the execution was all angie um she definitely was my hands in all things and also my opinionated advisor about what things i should do use and change half the time i didn't listen but i listened when it made sense um she put up these great curtain rods like they're those pipe kinds so the one thing that we knew would be an issue, but we had no idea, was how the wind would really whip through there. Um, so that particular type of drape is absolutely necessary for outdoor um, for outdoor curtains. So she put those up all around, and those are also outdoor curtains that are waterproof and mold resistant and all that good stuff. And I think it ended up beautiful. And I'm still doing stuff. Adding things here and there.
almost done. about business and working and, and doing stuff. And I look like I've been in the suit. <laughs> no, you don't. Be cool. <laughs> Girl, be kind to yourself. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we're going to go to TJ Maxx now. Okay. We are on the search for an off-white huge back fellow to match the ones we found. We're in the Christmas stuff. We got a nice little haul already. I didn't do too, too much damage. $197.99. Show you when we get to the house. All right, beautiful people. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you learned a little something, something. Until next time, be kind to each other, to yourself. And um, I'll see you in the light. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ask me questions. Even though I talk stuff, I want to answer questions. I want to be a resource for people who need it or people who have legit legit curiosities all right love y'all